And so, and, and that's, and, and again, like it was a small sample size, at least from last week and, and kind of judging it on that. And if we went by that, narrative then shoot we we i don't know why dan quinn is even on this list you know what i mean if we're judging it by the last the last game that we saw and again we talked we talked mentioned this earlier this goes back to kind of i mean what we've been talking about we know his history we know when he coached the falcons got them to the super bowl with an uh-huh. elite offense under kyle uh, kyle shanahan but they also had a 28-3 lead that they gave up and lost in overtime in the super bowl we know how solid their defense has been these last couple of years with Micah Parsons and Diggs, and these guys have been balling out. But when it comes to those clutch moments, we're at that same spot. And I, I cannot justify him, that team giving up 48 points. Now, Micah right. Parsons had hurt ribs. I get that. But you still had Bland. You still had those other defensive players that were talking a whole bunch of mess in Washington. So – is 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 that the players just not showing up, or is that ultimately go back to Dan uh, Dan Quinn? Right, I know, I know. It's it's a it's a great question. I don't I don't know the answer to that. You know, with him, I think about well, what do I want? I know my floor can be with him. You know, you're going to have a good defense. What do I want my ceiling to be? And I mean, we've had so many down years in DC. I'm kind of like, hey, I'd, I'd switch places with Dallas in a second. You give me a, a great a great defense you you develop you know extreme talent top talent in a in a Micah Parsons and a, and a Diggs who was a second round pick and Deron Bland was a fifth round pick man I'll take that all day if that means I'm gonna have playoff disappointment based on the history we, we've had right. for so many years but then I also look at but am I looking for something more than that I mean it's uh, that's 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 a tough one because you know what Dan Quinn is going to come in and instantly improve your team on defense whether through who you have or who he's able to bring in in some pieces. And I do know there are some players that love playing for him. Dante Fowler is one of them where like wherever he goes, Fowler's going to jo- go join him. You know, he loves the guy Jordan Lewis and, and curse the safety. They'll probably follow him wherever he goes. And so you can improve your defense a little bit so you can get better. But like you said, he had a huge lead in the Super Bowl and lost it. You know, it, Again, it's like it's like, what do you want from a coach? You are you trying to get someone who you really think he can get me a championship, or do you want someone who can make me better? Yeah, I, I don't know if Dan Quinn's your championship, you know, projecting coach right. as a head coach. I don't know, and that and that's where I, it, when it comes to somebody like Dan Quinn, that's where I want people to kind of pump their brakes and reevaluate some of this stuff because you do have to look at that. I don't want to be the next Dallas Cowboy. 20, 12 and five in the regular season, beating all the crappy teams and then not being able to do anything in the playoffs. And when then he has a history that follows him of when it comes to those games, when it comes to the, the big time games, something seems to happen with his defenses that they can't play a complete game. You know what I mean? And on top of that, he had pieces. You mentioned it. But even in Atlanta, he, the place that he had pieces yeah. that were that were great. He had solid defenses, and it's just something just don't click when it gets to the yeah. playoffs. So uh, you know, uh, not taking anything away from him and everything he's been able to build because in the regular season that that Cowboys defense is a formidable force. I mean, there's no two ways about it. Um, but again, I want I want what the Patriots had. I want dynasty. I you know I don't want you know, we're here, you know, two or three years. Hey, we're a nice up and coming team, but makes it, I don't want to be the Ravens. Honestly, right. we could be the number one seed just to make the divisional round of the playoffs. Right. You know what I mean? I want, you know, Super Bowls. That's what we all should be looking for. So, I mean, it'd be interesting. I mean, obviously we interviewed this guy and, and anytime I could take something from Dallas, sure, I'll, I'll take that opportunity. Sure. Um, but realistically, I don't know. I don't know. He's he's not the number one on my list, especially right. with the list of DC. He, he may be like the modern day North Turner. Like mm. you are best as a coordinator than you yeah. are at leading an entire franchise. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Dun, 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 Let's go. <laughs> the Washington Commanders. There it is.